and found information in FBI files about witnesses who couldn't identify Islam and implicated other suspects, Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus Vance Jr. told the court. The file showed that the late FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover ordered agents to tell witnesses not to reveal that they were informants when talking with police and prosecutors, Vance said. I apologize for what were serious, unacceptable violations of law and the public trust, he said. There is one ultimate conclusion, Mr. Aziz and Mr. Islam were wrongfully convicted of this crime. Innocence Project co-founder Barry Sheck, one of the lawyers for Aziz and for Islam's family, said the review also found the FBI and police hid evidence from prosecutors, as what he called part of a plot to disrupt the black civil rights movement. The FBI and New York Police Department had evidence of Aziz's and Islam's innocence within hours but ignored and suppressed it, said another of their attorneys, Deborah Francois, who works with civil rights attorney David Chenies. Biden said the case cries out for fundamental justice. The NYPD and the FBI said Wednesday that they had cooperated fully with the reinvestigation. They declined to comment further. NYPD Chief of Patrol Juanita Holmes said Thursday she felt for Malcolm X's family and for Aziz and Islam if we are responsible for withholding information. I hope that we never revisit a scenario like this again, she added. Attorneys, scholars and others have long raised questions about the convictions, and alternate theories and accusations have swirled around the case. After Netflix aired the documentary series Who Killed Malcolm X? Early last year, Vance's office said it was taking a fresh look at the case. Hashtag things that make you question everything about the justice system, thoughtful face. See news stories full link in the description or comment section.